Hey guys, Mark Farash from ProTech Dog Training. Just a little short little blurb here. I wanted to uh, accent yesterday's video and kind of tell you a little bit more what I'm doing with Buddy. Um, first off, I'm going to take a little hiatus, all right, because uh, I can't concentrate on the perfection in the work if I'm trying to talk to you guys. What I better is best to do is to take a week or two and then come back and explain to you what I've done, all right. Now, the main thing I've, I'm doing and what, what has to be done, and this happens all the time in competition. You see people go out and they'll do a competitive competition and they... Uh, have a failure somewhere in their work or they want to improve on something, when they get done with that uh, attempt, they usually go back to the field and they deconstruct, they take it apart and then they reconstruct it to try to solve the problems and make it better, okay? So that the work is even better when they go back out there to compete again and they fix the problems that they have. But that's a very normal process. It's always that yin and yang I was talking about, balance, okay? When one thing goes and gets really good, the other one will get bad. In other words, by a is a good example is protection, but it's, it's not really, it's, it's a good example, but you do protection and the dog starts to have a, a wishy-washy bite, you know, and you don't want that. You don't want the dog being chewed. You want the dog to come in, lock on it, and crunch and hold that bite, okay? So when you have one problem that's causing the wishy-washy, you, you figure out, okay, here this is, and you know in your mind, because you've been doing this for as long as you have, how to fix it, okay? So you step back and you go after just that one, in, that one isolated problem and you fix that one problem. And then it's constantly like this. You always have, listen, my out is an example. If I start doing a lot of outs and I start insisting on that dog outing all the way, all the time, pretty soon he's gonna come in and he's gonna have a tendency to want to out or he gets squishy with his bite, all kinds. So you have to, it's never ending balance when you're working a dog to this to this level. Am I gonna go out and compete? No, but this is my challenge, is, is looking at myself and then talking to you guys and then looking at my other uh, counterparts that are out there that are achieving this high scores. Well, they've got a club, they've got a really emphasis. I was just out there on the field. I'm, I'm sweating already. It's really early in the morning, but it's still warm already. That's why I'm working this early. Um, but they have an overriding uh, thing that's always there for them, in Schutzen especially, that that criteria is so high. And when they get that good and they braid up to the rank, through the ranks, now they're trying to achieve this, this excellence, right? This perfection. And that's where you see somebody like Oscar with, with Guapo. That dog is just on it when he's out there on the field. And you got to admire that. There's a lot of work that goes into that, uh, that perfection, right? And that exactness within the sport. It takes skill, but it takes also a mental attitude of doing it. So I'm out there right now and I'm deconstructing it. <clears throat> and I'm, I realize exactly where his lacks are at. Not exactly, but I've got a pretty good idea where his lacks are at. So now I'm trying my best to get him right in that pocket where he's going to be real tight. Now, am I going to be able to achieve it? I don't know. It's all about mental attitude. There's something that's got to drive you to get to that point, right? But realize that these guys that are competing, that's their mental attitude. And then their competitors are all striving for this level of excellence when they get into the nationals and the worlds. I mean, that's when you're talking, you know, heavy competitors. And that's what people like Oscar are striving for. They're, they're out to, to be that level of a competitor on the podium and then have it benefit them in their businesses and etc. Most of them are professional trainers. There are some, a lot of them, some of them, they're not professional trainers. They're, they're uh, just people that are heavy hobbyists and they get out there and really do it to that degree too. There's a few of them in that regards, but most of them, a lot of them, a lot of us are professional dog trainers. So um, again, I don't really strive to compete, but there's got to be some little bug in me that makes me want to do this. I was talking about yesterday. Do I give a hoot? And I, I mumbled and I said, <laughs> no, I, don't, I guess I do. Or I wouldn't be talking about this stuff. You know, I guess I do care. I don't care about the trophy. I care about looking to that, that quality, right? I want it to, and I want it to know in my heart that it's that quality, right? <laughs> anybody that's to that level could pick it apart and make me look sad. But, you know, it's, there's a whole, it's a lifestyle, guys. It really is. When you get into that point of wanting to be a competitor and getting into that lifestyle and, and uh, having to jump on a plane to go to another country or just go across the country and travel to get to where you're going to compete, it's a lifestyle. And that's what I, I tell a lot of people. They get out here and they think they want to do shits. And well, reality is, it's a, if you want to get to that level and you want to be on the podium that bad, it's going to take some work, you know. So it's all about what you're... Uh, Priority are, priorities are in life. Mine usually has been that I love to educate, I love to teach, I love to do what I'm doing right now, yak at the screen and, and throw this stuff off the wall and see if it sticks. You know what I mean? So that's what it's all about. So in a nutshell, let's go ahead and cut this short. I'm going a little bit too long. i got a lot of things to do, get back to my kennel and all that. Um, 
I'm going to take a little hiatus with this segment, for especially uh, working with Buddy, and I'll come back on the backside, and hopefully it'll have that jump in, in quality where the dog's really starting to work to that level, and then I'll deconstruct it for you and tell you how I did it. That's kind of what I'm going to try to do for you. So have a good day. It's Sunday. It's going to be another hot day up here in the, hot, in the high desert. I thank you very much for listening to my yakking, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.